Today's video is on Dirac Delta Function and in today's video we are going to see the Laplace transformation of the Dirac Delta Function. So what is this Dirac Delta Function? I made a clear video on this Dirac Delta Function and here is the delta of t minus a is defined as infinity for t is equal to a and 0 for t not equal to a. The physical significance of this Dirac 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 delta function is so it can be visualized as a very short impulse so it is infinity so it is infinity at t is equal to a and zero for the rest of the values see here this is mainly used in the quantum mechanics so they are the two properties here that is integral zero to infinity delta of t minus a dt is equal to one so the area here is equal to 1 and next property is integral 0 to infinity f of t into delta of t minus a dt is equal to f of a and this is so important that if we multiply with a function so we will be getting f of a at t is equal to a. Now I am going to apply the Laplace transformation. For the first one, if I apply the Laplace transformation of the first one is Laplace transformation of delta of t minus a is equal to. So, according to the Laplace transformation, so we have a formula that integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t. What is this f of t? That is delta of t minus a into dt. So, we have a property that f of a so integral 0 to infinity f of t into delta of t minus a is equal to f of a so here in place of f of t we have e power so here we have the function e power minus st so if you compare with this the function value here is e power minus st where t is equal to a we have to substitute the limit t is equal to a. So, from this property I am writing f of a. So, we have f of t here and we are putting t is equal to a according to this property, second property. So, this will be e power minus s into a. Therefore, the Laplace transformation of the Dirac delta function of t minus a is equal to e power minus s a. This is the first value. If we apply Laplace transformation on the property of the Dirac delta function and the next one here is if we apply on the second function if we apply the Laplace transformation that is Laplace transformation of so if you take this function that is f of t into delta of t minus a see what happens here so according to the definition we have integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into the function value here is nothing but f of t so f of t into delta of t minus a into dt so which is equal to so here if you observe the value here will be from the second property f of t into delta of t minus a is equal to f of a so integral 0 to infinity so f of t value is nothing but so this is e power minus st this is f of t where t we have to keep as 1 so f of a value so here we have to keep t is equal to a so this is going to become e power minus sa into f of a so if we apply the laplace transformation for the function f of t into this is delta minus a we got the value as see here e power minus sa into f of a so now we are going to use these two properties and solve the problems so here first of all the problem here is so according to the laplace transformation of f of t into t minus a is equal to e power minus s a into f of t so the formula the laplace transformation of t power 4 into delta of t minus a so what is well, when we compare with this what is f of t so here f of t value is equal to this is t power 4 and according to this property so this value is nothing but e power minus s a into f of a so which is equal to see here the value so here a value is equal to see what is our a value it is equal to 2 therefore we are going to substitute in the formula that is e power minus sa into f of a e power minus sa into f of a so what is the function f so f of x is nothing but t power 4 so this is going to become e power minus s into a 
so which is equal to e power minus what is a value that is 2 into s and what is our f of t f of t is equal to t power 4 so in this place we have to substitute 2 so what is f of 2 so this is going to become 2 power 4 so here so this is going to become 16 into e power 2s so this is the final answer and the next one here is laplace transformation of cos t into f of t so if i compare with this that is laplace transformation of f of t into delta of t minus a is equal to e power minus a s into f of a if i compare so what is f of t so f of t is nothing but this is cos t and what is our a value a value is nothing but this pi so if i substitute in this formula here so what will be f of a so f of a will be equal to f of pi which is equal to this is cos pi so if i substitute e power minus a s into f of a so what is a here a is nothing but pi into s and what is f of a so f of a is equal to pi so if i substitute it will be e power pi s f of pi is nothing but so as f of t is equal to cos t so this is going to become cos pi so cos pi value is minus 1 so this is minus 1 into e power minus pi s so we got the value as so we got the value as minus e power minus pi s so this is the value and the next equation here is laplace transformation of e power minus pi t into f of t into delta of t minus a so if i compare with the property that is laplace transformation of f of t into delta of t minus a the value here is e power minus a s into f of a so what is our f of t value so f of t value is nothing but e power minus 5t and what is our a value a is equal to here 3 so what is f of 3 value that is e power minus 5 into 3 so e power so this value is nothing but e power minus 15 so now if i substitute here so this is going to become e power minus a s into f of a so here our a value is nothing but 3 so e power minus 3 s into f of 3 so this is e power minus 3 s into what is our f of 3 value this is e power minus 15 so so this value is equal to e power minus 15 into e power minus 3 s so this is the answer and here are the few questions so we have to find out according to the Laplace transmission that is Laplace transmission of sine sin 2t into delta of t minus a. So if I compare with this that is Laplace transmission of f of t into delta of t minus a value is equal to e power minus a s into f of so this is f of a so if i compare what is our f of t value so f of t value is nothing but sine 2t what is our a value if i compare a is equal to 2 so f of 2 f of a value is nothing but f of 2 is equal to sine 2 into 2 so which is equal to sine 4 so now if i substitute the same thing here so the value here is e power minus a s into f of a so here e power what is our a value a is equal to 2 that is minus 2 s into f of 2 so we have f of 2 value as sin 4 that is e power minus 2 s into 4 so the value here is 4 times of e power minus 2 s so this is the value that is e power so this is sin 4 so f of 2 value is equal to this is this value is equal to sin 4 sin 4 into e power minus 2s and next com comparing with laplace transmission of laplace transmission of this is f of t into delta of t minus a the value here is e power minus a s into f of a so what is our f of t value here so when we compare f of t is nothing but t square and what is our a value so if we compare a value is equal to 3 so f of a 
is equal to so f of a is equal to this is a square so what is the a value f of 3 3 is equal to 3 square so f of 3 value is equal to 9 so we have to make all these substitutions here so this is the value of e power minus a s into f of a so what is our a value so a is equal to 3 here minus 3 s into f of 3 so this is e power minus 3s and what is f of 3 value this is 9 so the value here is 9 into e power minus 3s so this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow this uh, uh, simple simple properties here so these are the two properties and using these properties definitely you can solve any problem of this kind and if you really like you know what to do please pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below thank you so much